I finally, finally got around to playing Tower of Fantasy. This background I've got is from my last stream. If you don't want to come for the next stream, I am going to be streaming it more. This was on Twitch.tv slash Viscope, same name as on here. But yeah, make sure that y'all go over to the Twitch and follow there. Definitely had a decent amount of people watching for my first stream ever. But yeah, let's get into this review. Now, first thing, as you can see, I made my character look stupid, which was a terrible idea. Because every single time that man popped up in any of the cutscenes, I could not take this game seriously whatsoever. But yeah, we're gonna start from the beginning. First thing I want to talk about was combat. Now, before you even get your first, like, character that you can wish for or whatever, whatever you want to call it, wishing, pulling for, even your story character combat is so much fun. I didn't know that this game had, like, combos and stuff like that, because I know that coming from Genshin Impact, I was like, okay, how is this going to be as interesting as different reactions, stuff like that. I can ensure you it is definitely interesting and it is cool that you can have multiple weapons equipped at the same time, not even the same type of weapon, and switch between, switch at certain times right after a dodge, stuff like that to do different combos. So I can ensure you if that is like your concern with this game, it is a dope game. As you can see, this character that I've been trying, I'm pretty sure they just give this one to everyone. But anyways, when I got that character... It was, I was having a blast with the combat is crazy. I was having so much fun with the combat. But yeah, definitely if that is your concern, you have nothing to be concerned about. Story. Now I wanted to talk about the story. The story, I only, look, I only played an hour to get like a good look at like what I was going to be getting into. The story is great so far. I didn't expect a lot of things to happen. And I guess first hour is mostly you just kind of doing tutorial type stuff. But towards the end, something happens a lot darker than I was expecting it to be. If you're going to, if you don't want spoilers, I'll skip the next 30 seconds, hopefully. But I, again, I'm only an hour in. So yeah, obviously someone gets sick or possessed basically. I thought they were going to kill her off. I'm not going to lie. I thought they were going to go that route, oh, but at the same time, I was like, it's a little early on. But yeah, it got me intrigued. That last bit that I ended on, 100% with Zeke kind of just not being able to do it, taking her somewhere, it got me intrigued for the rest of the story. So the story so far has actually got me hooked way more than I was expecting it to. Because at this, for the most part, I wasn't expecting this game to be story heavy. Which, I still don't know, it may just be that first part that they kind of just push for the story, but so far I love it. Now, next thing we're talking about is the world. I thought, you know, like I said, I haven't seen much about this game. I didn't know how big the world was. And, first hour, you don't even get off of this, like, basically tutorial island type thing. But when you finally see that map... I cannot wait because I, if y'all don't know, I did do reactions to some trailers about this and I saw some little clips of different like parts of the world and stuff like that. I cannot wait to explore more of that. That is the biggest thing I'm looking forward to in this game is being able to just run around exploring everything. Because there was already so much I was trying, I was trying for the stream, I was trying to stick to the story so I can just get through that. But man, I was getting sidetracked. It, it, there was no point in me even trying. There was so much stuff just on this little island that you start on that you, I'm just like, what is this? What is this? What is this? But yeah, the exploring is going to be too fun in this game. About the wishing, I still don't know anything about the currency. I'm guessing that there is a way to grind for some of these. But like I said, I feel like with Genshin Impact, I was free to play. But it wasn't as... I feel like it's a lot more fun if you do spend a little bit, but not become a whale. So, if y'all want to see a video, if enough of y'all want to see a video where I wish a certain amount, don't know how much I'm going to be putting into it. But if y'all do want to see a video like that, I would be down to try it out on this game, because I do feel like I'm going to be playing this game for a minute. But yeah, the wishing, I'm basically asking y'all, 
what do y'all think about the wishing system? Is it fair? Is it well not not fair? It is a gotcha game, so it's, I'm not asked fair. Is it less than? Is it better or worse than Genshin Impact's gotcha? Basically, because gotcha is in Genshin Impact is already pretty forgiving. If you compare it to a lot of the other games like that, but yeah. Anyways, I love. I can't wait to see how much currency you can get. I'm hoping that there's ways to grind it. I've seen people doing these crazy co-op things, which is another, probably one of the biggest things I'm looking forward to is trying out the co-op. The co-op, having five players in co-op, I just feel like I'm going to have so much fun with that, which if y'all want to play anything, I'm down to play anyone that watches the videos or whatever. I do have a Discord. I'm going to be making that, and I'm just like adding some little tabs and stuff, and I'm going to have that for there. If y'all want to look out for that, I am going to be creating one of those. But yeah, the co-op looks super fun. I'm not sure what the... I've seen some activities that looked like raids, but I'm not sure if they're actually raids. But yeah, y'all can let me know in the comments if y'all have seen that. But I... this game, man, it's... Of course, I do have to talk about some negative things because, and then I'm just gonna look like I'm getting paid for it by these people to make this video, which I'm not. But yeah, one of the biggest things, and pro honestly, the only thing that I was really, that really like took me out of the game, was it needs polishing. But the game just came out, so I'm. It's not anything where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna play this game anymore. This is garbage is just certain spots where it takes forever to load you into a cutscene and you like walk past that mark that's supposed to trigger it multiple times before it actually starts and then just loading into different areas just loading in when you transmit stuff like that that takes a while when you do it there was one clip in here that did it when i transmit somewhere and i did it my character was literally just walking around doing the t pose for like a good 30 seconds because it just didn't load in the running animation. But yeah, there, there's little bugs here and there. I haven't seen any bugs that are like game breaking. Usually it's just something that just takes a minute to load in. But I understand. Game just came out. But yeah, it definitely needs some polishing. But I, I have hope. I'm sure they will fix all these little small things as we go. But yeah. Last thing I wanted to talk about 100% was the biggest thing at towards the end. And that is the characters. Now, this basically is going off of just the trailers I've seen. This isn't even really what I've seen in the game because I looked at the banners. Characters look dope. Aesthetics look dope. I love the fact that you can put different weapons on different characters. That's one of the biggest things for me. I love that you can do that because that is one thing that I, I wish Genshin didn't do. Sometimes... Just because it's like, I think there's so many different combinations that you could come up with, with them doing different things, but obviously they work very differently, so I see why. But yeah, characters I've seen in trailers, though obviously there's the one that people are saying is a rip off the Luke, which I don't really see it because it's a dude in a black trench coat with red hair. It's like, are we going to act like that's a super unique character to start with? It's like, you never seen, like, the big cool dude that has the black trench coat usually has some weird color of hair. Like, I'm not gonna sit there and act like that's unique to, like, Genshin Impact. So that, I don't really see it, but that character does look dope regardless. But yeah, there's definitely certain characters I want to get. But yeah, y'all let me know in the comments which characters are the best. Because, obviously, if I'm gonna be wishing at all, I'm gonna need to know whether I got someone good or not. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I did want to make this a little longer, but I'm, I don't want to say too much because I'm going to end up saying something stupid and then literally in the next, like, 10 minutes of me playing the game is going to be like, yeah, that's not true at all. So yeah, I'm trying to keep it kind of brief with this video, but yeah, either way, I'm enjoying the game. I'm definitely going to be doing more videos. If you want to see any certain ideas, I'm down to do it, whether you want to see more streams, whether you want to see wishing videos little challenges whatever but yeah let me know in the comments what you want to see next hope you enjoyed the video peace